Hi, this video tutorial I will cover life cycle of a thread. Life cycle of thread is controlled by JVM and uh, here you can see the thread states. New, runnable, running, non-runnable and uh, terminated. From new state, thread can go to runnable state. From runnable state, thread can go to running state. From running state, thread can go to runnable state. From running state, thread can go to terminated state. From running state, thread can go to block state. From block state, thread can go to runnable state. From running state, thread can go to waiting state. From waiting state, thread can go to runnable state. From running state, thread can go to sleeping state. From sleeping state, thread can go to runnable state. Initial state of uh, thread is new state and uh, thread remains in this state until the program starts the thread. After invocation of uh, start method on the new thread, the thread becomes uh, runnable. A thread is in running state means the thread is currently executing. The only way enter in running state is if the thread scheduler select a thread from the runnable pool. In block state, the thread is waiting for a lock to access an object. Sometimes a thread transition to the waiting state, while the thread waits for another thread to perform a task. A thread transition back to the runnable state only when another thread signals the waiting thread to continue executing. A runnable thread can enter into sleeping state for a specified interval of time. Once a specified interval of time is expired, the thread can go from sleeping state to runnable state. Not runnable states are waiting state, sleeping state and terminated state. In terminated state, the thread is dead. And this is about life cycle of a thread and thanks for watching.